Oh, a largest dude. I, I, I'm going to say this as nicely as I can. Please do not even remotely think about trying to help me with this. I'm going to be asking questions because I speak out loud. I, I speak my thoughts out loud. I'm, I'm, I was, I was close to banning a few people yesterday. But not today. Not today. So I know where I have to go, I think. And I know where I have to take the thing that I need to grab, I think. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. And I just, yeah, no sweat, dude. The Namai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by a Namai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. The advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Central chamber of Ash Twin. I think I need to port there some fucking how. I just, I just don't, I don't know. This is, this is the. This has probably stumped me the most, this section. Central chamber. Twenty two minute time loop. Sand starts dumping real soon. Protected by a hard outer shell. Sweat. Here comes the sand. It's not. It's not here, is it? Ah, no way. No way. So there's a port receiver there. That's the. That's the port from the from the one that works. The tower that works. There's a tower that doesn't work. We can't use it because it's overhead exactly when the sand starts pouring. And it yeets me off planet. What am I trying to do? I am trying to get to the central core, uh, central chamber in Ash Twin. Largesse, this this game is fucking dope, dude. If um if you're in any doubt whatsoever, it is one of the greatest video games I've ever played. Can I give you a quick rundown? Frostman, I'm afraid I can't. 
it it would take me longer to explain it than it would for you to watch the watch the vods all over again it's an exploration game it's a mystery game um it yeah i'm i'm not being rude when i say that either it's it's very complex storyline excellent sci-fi really well written Check your notes on the computer. I don't want to tell you too much. You already have. Read the fucking title of the stream. I will ban you if you say another word about this video game. Respectfully. Am I writing about the sun station, quantum moon, hidden planet? Modern Nomai out in other parts of space, and they believe the universe, all of it, the whole thing is dying currently right now. How could I have missed so many signs? The supernovae? No Nova? Nova? We're there, but I've been studying the stars for a while. What does it matter if we've re I think we've spread this before. Even the time loop is a spoiler of it in and of itself. I wish I didn't know that going into it. Because when it happens the first time, it's like, that's a holy fuck moment right there. But there's the sun portal. God, that was a good moment. Oh my god. I would revisit that just for the music alone. Central chamber. It has to be between... I've gone all over this thing, but here's the thing. Logic dicta dictates we have to do this early, and I mean really fucking early. Because we still need 10 plus minutes to go... Um, 10 plus minutes to go... Uh, to the to the creepy place enter the code so we have to <sighs> yeah what did we find out about the warp core the broken one nothing right There's a whole compilation on YouTube of streamers going, WTF is happening when they see the supernova for the first time. It's pretty adorable. Oh, that's dope. I like that. We didn't get told anything at all. Three-sided pillar. Appears to be some sort of input device. Warp core is long dead. That's the only thing we found out, huh? And the only other thing that really is interesting to me I don't see it exploding. Right, okay. The sound design is quite clever in that regard, though. I think it's well, it's not necessarily obvious, but if you're outside at all, it's going to be a red sky, right? And you'd be like, that's not normal. 
this. No, not that. in my mind or from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside the ash twin once the shell was finished the namai checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks the namai discovered that species of four-eyed semi-aquatic life forms in the waterways near the mine wait what how'd i miss that That would be, that would be pretty wild if the game ended and you didn't know what was going on. I think I, I think I caught it the first time. Well, and I kind of knew that it was a time loop. Um, happy Sunday to you, serious business. How you doing? Uh, but if it started and then you, it says, you know, wake up again, you'd be like, did the game just crash? What the hell just happened? The only giveaway immediately is the fact that the codes are on the bottom left of the screen. That's the only giveaway straight up. Could have something to do with this as well. Because that's one thing that I noticed, an alignment angle diagram, but it's just that, it's a, it's a diagram. A warp tower and its corresponding, corresponding astral body, warp tower alignment angles are not exact. And they need to be within five degrees of the astral body center. The results is slightly longer warp windows that last roughly several seconds anyone stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped oh I mean I could try that several seconds <sighs> but I mean so the one thing I didn't do is, is return immediately back right but we still have to wait far too long, I think, for the warp towers to be uncovered anyway, especially the, the twins tower. Suit puncture? No. I believe you're mistaken. I can't even get in there yet, can I? Nope. teleport and then come straight back. It's 
still doesn't leave a lot of time, dude. Same place. Back to the ship. So, protective shell being mined from the Nomai mines. A species of four eyed semi aquatic. Semi aquatic life forms in the waterways near the mines. The only thing that's four eyes is us. Near the waterways. That we've seen thus far, right? I think the only four eyed beings. Now my statues were designed to pair with a single user. Record their memories and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin. So there is... We have seen a vision of the three lit up statues or faces, masks, whatever. That's projecting somewhere. Wait, each storage unit inside of the Ash Twin project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which could then send those stores, stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded or in the event that it failed. So we know we're linked to, well, we're linked to a statue, but maybe the mask is linked to us as well. And we know that, what's his name on the island, the water island is linked, must be linked to, to one of them also. The my created statues like the one in our observatory. I found an Amai statue lying on the beach. It looks just like the one in our observatory. Gabra. Gabra's in a time loop as well. We know that. So I think he must be also linked. I wonder if those... Okay, so what are we looking at when we're looking at that fucking... And shit, I can't remember where I last saw that. On the sun platform? I think on the sun platform. Probably too late now. Oh, we could try. No, it's too late, I'm, I, I would assume. Yep. I wonder if I could hover in there somehow. Yeah, we could brute force that. <clears throat> Uh, I was kidding, but I actually could do that. That's hilarious. That statue. There's a game mechanic to skip time in a loop. Camping at a, at a campsite. Is that what you're talking about? I don't, I don't want to skip time. Here's the thing. We need to recover the warp core, which means we need to access whatever the fuck. 
the center thing real fucking early because it's still going to take us roughly 10 minutes to get back to the the ship right Ryan, five months subscribed, dude. Thank you, man. I want to revisit the sun platform anyway, just because it's totally dope. Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah, no, don't ever, don't ever worry about it. Good to have you back. I can't be the only one that's had trouble with this specific puzzle. It's quite, quite cryptic. Like everything else I think I got, except someone ruined the fucking turn your light off bullshit to teleport the rock. But other than that, done all right oh sorry no nope. the asteroid the jellies i got the jellies i got had the most trouble with the quantum tower so that, that was another one. Um, and and I, I, to be fair, I would have got it. Someone in chat goes, um, what did that sign say again? It's like, fuck off. <laughs> oh, it's, it's non-stop serious business. And I, I was talking to Laffy Taffy a few nights ago well we raided him and he's like hope chat didn't ruin it for you and we got into a little bit of a chat about that it's i expect it it's human nature people want to be involved people get excited about it um people like to lack of a better word show off about their knowledge of the game and how well they've done and you know i and it's frustrating watching someone struggle through something that they might have found very easy So the, the thing that, Unworldly One, the thing that, about the jellies, I remember, and I found it up really odd at the time, the one that we found on the, um, where was that? Was that in the rock? In the asteroid? Wherever, wherever we found it. Um, that one in particular, it was like, you could walk through it, and I'm like, uh... I found that really odd because that's not very video gamey. You can't just walk through things in video games. And that's what that's what came back to my mind. Playing Barber is you on stream. So that's a game I'll never play, Arm Knock, but I can imagine that that's that's too much for my my tiny brain.
It's something to do with this. This is this is there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot about high pressure in here as well. Determine the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone was to rupture, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand. Maybe, maybe not. I will ask you one question, which I'm okay answering. Does everything have to be connected, or is this normal? Is this just what the, the map looks like? Or does there have to be extra points? This looks normal. Good. Okay. It's fine. So it would be safe to assume I should have all of the information that I need. Hopefully. North Pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There is a uniquely shaped Namai ruin on the surface. The Namai were able to warp here from the Whitehall Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. Right. Whitehall Station. It's something to do with this fucking place. I know it. I know it is. A warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of the corresponding astral body. So we need to warp... We need to warp... To Ember Twin. Is it like a puzzle game? No, it's a sci-fi exploration game. There are there are puzzles in it. Your mind will get tested. The hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shard alignment point. Shared alignment point in between them. The warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. All of the warp towers were being constructed on Ash Twin, while the six warp receivers were being constructed at different locations. And a my aim poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. Have I played Return of the Obra Dinn? Is that the, um, that's the orange and black game, right? Like it's, uh, sepia toned and you go into memories or something, or you re you, you replay memories of other people or something like that. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't played that, but I've seen, I've seen it being played very briefly. I didn't stick around too long. Am I going to play the DLC? Sure. Yeah, as soon as I can figure this shit out. Now, my minds. This is important, too. A species of four-eye semi-aquatic life forms in the waterways near the mine. Where the fuck is this mine? I remember that. That is... Is that on Ember Twin? I remember standing in those holes. Um, if it, you can answer that as well, mark location. Let me let me try that first. Hang on. Yeah, that's what I wanted to... Oh, I gotta do it again. Ha. 
Well, okay, the species of four-eyed... Well, that's us. Probably irrelevant. Fuck it, let's go there anyway. I really do want to revisit the um the the sun station though. That was that was a pretty fucking magical moment. Just the music and like what we were reading and then finding out that the sun station never fucking worked in the first place. It's like, wow. How'd you get there? Um, warp there. I did manage to bump my ship on the, um, on the warp tower, and I reverse thrusted down onto it, but then the gravity of the sun just fucking yeeted me out of the ship, or in, into the back of the ship, I couldn't do anything. Where's my marker gone? Do I have to mark it again? You couldn't find... Yeah, the, the warp took me a while. I knew it had to be done because the symbol on the platform was the warp's symbol. It's still marked. Oh, there it is. Of course, it's underground. I'm not sure which one the primary entry point is. That might be it. Yeah, they, they recommend using a controller, and I couldn't work out why, because it's a first-person game. It becomes very apparent later when you have to um, fly very slowly. species near the waterway. Music's really, really special too. Really good.
Seriously, it's us. We're the four-eyed species. Semi-aquatic. I don't know about that, though. or the Ash Twin project requires remaining towers being built on Ash Twin. The completed towers I've seen are quite large. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. If they sealed us all the interests, I hope they planned accordingly. Timber hearths or only for constructing the shell if eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced me metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. We were fish? Yeah, sideways. Is this the thing? Is this the one? This is it. This this room or whatever is where I need to be. How the fuck do I get here? Wait. A lot of people liken it to mist, yeah. Is that a bridge? An elevator? Some kind of black hole inside. Well, there is a warp core in there, right? Apparently. God, I can hear the sand dumping. Spinning a l very fast. Spinning very fast, so we're we're also spinning in the center of the Ash Twin. Hello, Onion. So we can view it. The Ash Twin Projection Stone. But we can't... get there. This ore should be the last we need for the Ash Twin Project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Remy and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. 
can offer an extra set of eyes for the final check, specifically mine, if my work here is complete. The more eyes, the better. The smallest floor, floor or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lend, lead to disaster. Uh, Marian, I would say, I would say categorically, if you watch me solve this, you will remember it. So, uh, I would be very careful. So there's no physical entrances. In fact, I can confirm that because I fucking searched that planet. Plus, we need to get there very soon. We need to warp there somehow. Something to do with the alignment. Both planets are treated as one. Um. There's a shared point between them. Which is in the sand. The sand poor. Yes, I will be doing the DLC. I've heard it's just as good, if not better. I have no idea how to start it and frankly don't want to know yet. The sand pour prevents me from going off of Ash Twin. Ghost matter detected nearby, really? Why? Just because? Sand poor. If I wait, mm, it's a stretch. No, it won't work because I'm sure I've tried it. Okay, I've got to test it. Back to the fucking Ash Twin fast. <laughs> If I can warp from here... But that's just going to take me back to the same place. I'll try. I'll try it. It's worth it. Right here? doesn't have to be directly in the line of, right? Wait. This is a different receiver? It's 
it's not active at all. One thing's for certain, we do need to get... access to it early. Like I said, we still need 10 plus minutes to make our way back to... that place. about the high energy lab That's right at the point where the twins were as well. Ouch. Vitals low. Bullshit. Where does this fucker go? I'm, I still need to try that. Excuse me. Give me a tree. You got a tree? Is there a tree around here somewhere? I love how tiny the this one feels like after a bit. much sand you got left, bruh? You almost done? I just, I've got to test. You can't test it because the sun's, uh, the sand is like, nope, bye. God, that's fucking scary, isn't it? What's he holding there? A little snack box? Hmm. Three minutes left. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? Nope. Everything's in line with it, right? Put the music, the music cue. Is it gonna come around again? Do we get one more shot? Oh, 
Where the fuck? Oh shit. Get down. Does this thing take so freaking long to orbit? No, not even close. I probably missed that last chance. We've seen it. I think, I think we've seen it. I think we know the innermost component with those masks. I think we know. Does this go a different direction every time? Sometimes it looks like it goes backwards. Every memory recorded by an Amai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. I feel like there's a lot of important information here. I'm I'm missing something. I'm I'm glossing over something that's even even more important. Reduce the temper anom anomaly first observed at the Whitehall station. Numai discovered they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure. use a tower you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead then I might notice something strange warped objects appeared at to arrive slightly before they departed blah 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 whatever Warp here from the Whitehall station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. Oh, I can almost taste it. I just, I just, I'm not quite sure. Signal for I have the universe, anglerfish, escape pod, old settlement. Warp 
warp tower alignment angles are not exact. They only need to be within five degrees of the astral body center. Slightly longer warp windows. Is there a way to teleport to Ash Twin from somewhere else? This is important. This is really important, I think. Alignment point is not its warp receiver. Rather, a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body. The twins have two. Warp receiver must be located on or in a close orbit around the relevant astral body. Hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body. Hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body. The shared alignment point in between them. That's the sand. The sand column. Alignment angle diagram. Is the black hole forge the secret? What if we disengage the black hole forge? Something to do with the timing. I can't get in the black hole forge and have it lowered back down, I don't think. Plus, I think I've completed all of that. I'm going to kick myself when I work this out. a boost yeah no i'm i'm having a blast other than this one section i'm having a great time and I'm, I'm not even having a bad time like it's just it's a little frustrating knowing i i think i'm close fuck i might not be i don't know
Don't you go in there. Don't you go in there. When in doubt, jam your ship up against something. Doesn't feel right. What does disengaging that do? Fucking nothing. Just lets me go inside it. No way, no way. This again can't be the solution. It takes too long. Where's the teleport on? Little hollow. Where are you? I don't think I've encountered any bugs, really. This doesn't send me back. It's just a receiver, right? But the, sh the receiver is open for a short window after it's been used. My mind's getting twisted. I'm getting a headache. Like this is, this is the only thing I think I have to solve now. Your ship blew up all the time on it. Uh, actually, that did happen to me. Yeah, like you'd, you'd turn around and then all of a sudden the, the tower would have yeeted your ship somewhere. I don't think mine blew up, but it got severely damaged. This isn't, this isn't a launching point. I don't, I don't think you can warp back from here. That's not how that, that's not how that works. Yeah, 
It's it's Ember Twin. It's gotta be. I just. What do we have upstairs here? What tablet? There was one lying around. always gets me I love it the DLC is out I own it I haven't played it I will play it Uh, Acid, don't uh, don't push too hard on the DLC questions. I don't know myself yet, so I don't want to know how to activate it or anything. I died. I've heard that it is as good as, if not better, than the base game. <gasps> Pretty sure it does head off in different directions sometimes. I've got the knowledge I need. What about fucking... Quantum entanglement and all that shit. No, they don't work that way. That's that's rocks and shit, Queeb. Could be in two places at the same time. Twin Towers, Whitehall Station. To use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. 
The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Warped objects appear to arrive at the receiver. At the, it's still, still, I'm not waiting five minutes to use the tower on Ash Twin. There's got to be another way inside. For the sand to clear. I know it's one of the first to, to be visible, but it's still, it's, it too much time has elapsed. All right. All right. All right. All right. So here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to pour it from the same tower. Um, and then I'm going to wait at the other end and see how long the portal stays active for. But it does take an awful long time for them to become visible. Both of these planets that are orbiting each other are seen as one astral body for the purposes of teleportation. The other one Wait. Wait. Can we just disable that? That receiver? Somehow? One of them has a, a set of stairs going down. I don't think there's any operational switches down below. I don't remember that. You know how some of the the gravity wells, or whatever you want to call them, have buttons that you can operate underneath, either sending them to or from a different place.
There's one that rotates. Wait, what was that? Where was that? There's one that rotates in opposite direction. I think that's in Whitehall. Whitehall Station. Yeah, that's the little, um... That's the little station at the Whitehall. Sun Tower. I think you got time. I don't think I'm on to it just yet. So... Go and go and do your thing. I'm still I'm still sciencing here. Let's read the, uh, the scroll up here, too. Shut up. God, such a slow drain sometimes. So much for three minutes. Energy Lab is building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it.
So here's the thing. That planet, two planets orbiting each other, it is seen as one celestial body, right? One target, if you will, for a warp. And I'm trying to figure out how to get into the center of this, the currently sand-filled one. Because that's where all the good shit is. That's where I need to get. Why would they have a, a teleport from one to the other? It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, no, I mean it does, but... Here's the thing. You've got two towers with two warps, right? The Nomai, the race of people that, that built this technology, wouldn't fuck around for its aesthetics. There's no reason to have two towers unless the two towers mean something. One of the towers is open to the elements, which means when the sand is sucking everything away, um, it can yeet you away with it. It's a fucking gorgeous game, though. against the push of the sand. I just puncture my suit in the top and it'll it'll force me downwards. The the ejection of air will force me downwards under the sand. Yes, I want to puncture my suit with a cactus. That's exactly what I want to do. It's a good three, three plus minutes before we can get our first portal. There's no way I can fight the sand though. I can't, I can't, you can't do that. You have to be touching the platform. I can't do that until the sand's low enough.
Why did my perspective just shift then? Ah, fuck the ship. I'll go get it on the other, in the, in the ditch. Yeet. fight against it. Which means even after it's gone, there's no safety net. You gotta be touching the floor. Why design this one in this shape in the first place? Oh, it's, I guess it's kind of busted, kind of broken. Well, at least having my ship on the other planet lets me know when it's coming back. What's pushing me? Oh, nothing. Physics. Uh, what else can we try? What else can we try? Stand here until... Y yeah, okay. Nope. Fuck. Maybe just after? I know this is really frustrating for some of you and I'm really sorry. That doesn't work. It's not, it's not one of those objects. Don't be dumb. Try one more. I'll let it go past and then I'll try. You think this guy died? mourning the loss of his lunchbox or he dropped the lunchbox after he died definitely the form yeah no no doubt you figured it was their writing tablet no their writing tablets well they don't they don't write on these things 
they write with um they look like um sticks with slabs on the end a surprise cactus Try to find a tree? What's the fun in that? Find my ship instead. Fucking planet, give it up. And again, it cannot be late this late into the cycle. It cannot be. Because mm -mm. we're going to take that warp core all the way over to Anglerfish Village and then see what's what there. Let's check underneath this fucking pillar. something all right I'm gonna ask a question of chat and I'm I'm okay with an answer to this one let me find my ship question is do I have the knowledge to figure this out yes or no is that knowledge in text form okay thank you Nostromo cool well, that second part is... Roughly several seconds.
No, I don't. I don't expect the text to tell me explicitly what what it is. Where was that info? That was in the high energy lab, wasn't it? I'm going to go back there. I feel like that's, uh, I feel like that's a vital part of it. It is possible that I skipped over some of the dialogue during a supernova. Like try to grab as much info as possible, you know? Thank you, serious business. Very kind of you, dude. Oh god, wasn't that actually difficult to get to? Can't remember. Uh... Good morning to you, Iki. How you doing? Uh, excuse me. Nope, that's a problem. Big problem. Real big, real big, real big problem. My energy lab, that's the fucking... What about that thing? Wait, why are they all in alignment? What the fuck was that about? How many times has autopilot killed me? Uh, more than a couple. All to the sun, I think. That's just... Okay, so it just wasn't updated, I guess. I assume, like, as you fly closer, the detail sort of... You, you gain detail as you get closer kind of thing. Where are you? It's near the... near the equator. There it is. Oh, right, but we can't get in there. You can only get in there via the... Shit. Uh, where's the fucking entrance? The best entrance is the the launcher, I think. Yeah. There. I did it again, didn't I? Oh, I did. I might have already taken too long to get here. It's like high energy labs right down the bottom, I think.
Uh, the, no, no, no. We've got plenty of time. You have to wait. Fucking cactus pit. Is this your worst enemy? No, my flying is my worst enemy. Django Fett, 1395. Thanks, dude. Thanks for your sub. Welcome to uh, the House of Fun for three months in a row. Yeah, O2 might be a problem. Should have filled up before I came in. It's fine. Fuck off. Ghosts coming down that way. That's one thing I missed, actually. I never came down that, that column. I mean, probably for the best. Look, more lunch boxes. All broken. Have a look. This I didn't fully understand. That I understand. We reroute the power is one thing we can do. Am I arriving at the warp receiver in Brittle Hollow very slightly before they're departing? Blah, 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 whatever. Yep. Small black hole core with a white hole core to mimic the setup. An object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Hmm, that's just talking about the time delay. Or reversal of time. I 
Have I tried Super Auto Pets? I've installed it. I ran it once and then I think I uninstalled it. Adding more, adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval. No. An enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. Invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. Oh, I think I worked it out. I need to grab a jellyfish from uh, Giant's Deep um, back to the warp tower, glue it to the ground with, um, with my uh, little photographic sensor thing, and um, then stand on the other platform. I think that, yeah, that's got to be it. One of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers, like the one we have on Whitehall Station, to connect Ash Twin directly with each critical location? Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. It's, it's that second fucking tower on the twins. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this blah 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 whatever. We can design each tower to visually reflect each its warp destination. Grab the lunchbox. Black Hole Forge. I might need to revisit Black Hole Forge as well. This isn't... Wait. This isn't a... This isn't a warp station of its own, is it? No way. Take all the power. That does something as well. Let's let's give it the old regular treatment. See if that changes anything. Same. Oops. Close the barrier.
What was the ghost tunnel going back down earlier? So we've rerouted the power to this experiment, which it doesn't seem to make a difference. I want to ask a question, but I don't. So I'm going to hold my tongue for a bit. Rerouting the power does nothing. But ordinarily, all of the power goes... Now we're rerouting all the power here. That... Wait. That can't be... It can't be that simple. Can't be that simple. Mm -mm. Plus, there's no easy way out from here, I don't think. Yes, there is. Okay, we still got some time. Fuck is my ship. Drint. Careful, dude. Rerouting power. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, it might. We do. We do want to disable the pad, the portal pad on this side, right? Which is where? I don't think it's too far from here. There it is. Oops. Oh, come on, that's a bit unfair, don't you think? Safety landing. Uh, great sunshine, we're English speakers here, dude. Same location. slur. Well, that's unacceptable. Shame.
All right, so I'm going to ask a question from It's Serious Business. One person. Give me one word. Try, try to be a little sneaky, you know? And the only reason I'm I'm even asking for this is because I feel like I'm banging my head against the wall. Like I know I'm close. I can feel it. I just Yeah. Timing. Figured. Okay. So that tells me I'm even closer than I thought. How's the spoiling been so far? Good. No, chat's been very well behaved today. Yeah, I mean, they drill into you the the window of opportunity, right? It's five degrees, I get it. But I thought I tried that, obviously I didn't try hard enough. Now I'm still trying to figure out why the no my dude is, is just sat there by the entrance. That'd be kind of a peaceful existence, being at the very northern pole of a planet. A constant day-night cycle. Well, primarily day, I guess. Nothing will ever frustrate me as much as the sound puzzles in The Witness. So I've, I've watched people play The Witness. In fact, I think B-Rex was... So B-Rex was the person I, I briefly, very, very briefly watched the um, DLC. And I understood nothing about it, right? But for this game. So I, I don't think I learned anything there. Something to do with lights, though. I do remember a light puzzle, but other than that... Not really. Um, and then... Uh, Uh, but I have seen him play The Witness as well, and I'm just like, that's, that's fucked. That's, that's, that is, could not be more obtuse if they tried. Hmm. 
God damn it, Jonathan Blow. But like, it similar mind blowing moments, really. It, uh, is that is that more of a fascination at your own level of achievement for having figured the stuff out, or do you actually is there storyline stuff that you're like, holy shit, that was intense. If this is as simple as I think it is, I'll, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. Um, only because... I mean, there's a reason that I'm, the Namai guy is right there. He's clearly... Like, heading in that direction, right? We know someone was heading to that particular location, whatever. That there's nothing environmentally telling me what I should be doing here. There's not even a hint, right? Cactus growing in one, it's, it's not protected from the elements. I'm just hoping this isn't it, but yeah, I also get the feeling that this is it too. Definitely the moments of, oh, that's how this, the world works? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Right, right, right. No, that, that I get. That I get. Especially when you solve a, a puzzle, right? Steven Sausage Roll. Wait. Kazoku, is that... Is that the one... The, the... The... It's like a camping guy? And he's in the... In the woods? And he has to pick stuff up? And, like, create little stacks? And roll around and cross bridges and stuff? Is that the one? Grid based where you push a, a snag onto a barbecue. Oh, okay. I think it's very similar to what I'm thinking of, but yes, yes, I have seen that. And also, if this is true, this is the earliest, and we're what? We're probably four minutes in at this point. This is the earliest you can you can do this. Which again doesn't leave you long. You gotta you gotta race. stand in, in the doorway and just fucking charge it as soon as the as soon as that shit's passed over Exactly, because the sand will fuck you as soon as it's gone. Oh. No, that ain't it. That ain't it. Am I like a split second off, perhaps?
or no 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 it's 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 upwards it's always upwards they tell you to look up that's what you got to do but we want to go down that's the that's the thing that's the that's the flipper right there We want to go down. That's it. There was a log somewhere. It told you you had to look up. Well, it didn't... It, it didn't... It wasn't even that. It was, like, more of a suggestion, like... If you look up, you can see where you want to go. My ship is gone, huh? Fuck off. Wait. Nope, took me to the same spot. Ship. Have a good night. Why am I do this? Right, we don't want to go up at all, do we? From what I can tell, there's speed runs, or challenge runs, I guess, where the ship isn't even used at all. I'll be interested to check all those out once we're, once we're done here. But no, that, that didn't work just then. I was looking down and it still sent me to the same place. So... you put me down all right <sighs> can you check a white warp core in or something no you can't remove these i i checked that already i checked that a long time ago no these are not removable give me a sec Give me a sec here.
chipless sun station is pretty cool. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be dope. Okay. For, for the sake... I fucking hate myself for this. For the sake of brevity... You can provide the answer to this one thing. I'm not, I'm not getting it. All right. Okay, stop. Take it back. One hint. Another hint. Actually, Nostromo, that would be better. Protection. Okay. Okay, hold up. Hold up. That helps. We can agree this is the platform. That's where I gotta go. My ship? My ship? Put my ship in the... In here? Is that why it's shaped like that? Explore the room a little more. Oh, fuck me! Shoom. All right, final one. Didn't even think of that. Okay. That is obscure as fuck. I love it. And you can do it in the middle of a sandstorm, which... Again, no environmental storytelling there. No environmental hints or, or, or... You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. For developers to include that, that's a really tough one. Um, I probably left this too late. Let's, uh... Let's start over. There's an alcove there. Isn't that... Eh, you're pushing it. If the bridge wasn't there? I would say yes. If the bridge wasn't there, I would say yes. But the fact that you can do it in the middle of the of the vacuum, that's weird. They patched in the alcove. Oh Jesus. How was it done prior to that? From the bridge. So it can be done from the bridge. No cacti. Oh. So timing is, is stupid important. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. They they must have known that it was a that like it's a it's a I won't say a problematic puzzle, but there's nothing in the game to have taught you that earlier. Single piece of text in the log. It says it can be activated a second later. No, no, I've read that. I've read that many times. And I'm, I'm not even trying to defend myself here. It just doesn't make sense.
that that is the hint. So you've got a second. But even from the door... Uh, I don't know. With the alcove, you can do it in the middle of the storm, so it's probably easier to do. But hey, we we in there. There's gotta there's gotta be a better way. I know a lot of people that possibly would have given up there, and I I don't know how much I had left in me. I mean I had you guys to, to lean on, but the average person I mean just look up a guide on the internet. The alignment point for the twins is between them, so it has to be the storm. Well, no, that, that doesn't matter either. Like, between them, the, the sand isn't there, then the sand is there. There's clearly nothing visible between them, so it's not a physical... Like, the only thing is that they're treated as one. They, they tried real hard to, to help the player it's very clear but it, they i think that that one was slightly missed it it is kind of sad because um well one the puzzle is um I mean, you've walked from one place to another. That's that's the puzzle, right? Um, and it's it's kind of sad because I don't have that. Like when I hit the sun station, I was like, "This is the fucking this is the best. This is amazing." When I walked into the sandstorm from an alcove, I didn't say, "This is amazing." And even though I'd seen that place through the through the little um the view the view hole or whatever it is and it didn't have the same impact i definitely i can see why they why they made it difficult because um like you said knowing every tower has a corresponding place to warp to and the fact that they wouldn't design it if it didn't have a purpose, right? Um, and there's two here. I mean, that's that's all you need to know. Entering Ashtwin was the most impactful moment of the game to me. Well, I'm sure that'll happen with music and, and the rest once we hit there. It's just I'm 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 just disappointed in myself, I guess. No, you're you're fine, Berkov. I think we're all in agreement on it. It's it's a tough one. They they could have done something with the power rerouting. Like that like I I spotted that the first time we were there. And I was like, oh, okay, this is just an experimental lab. But if you apply that to the, to the, on a planetary scale or something like that, but it, it, again, it's, it's tough. 
The only one you haven't tried, but the sandstorm was not letting you. Way to stop the sandstorm. Yep, crossed my mind as well. Yeah, ev everything you're saying, everyone is saying, I thought about. Let's go, baby. Even, even some kind of nondescript example of it taking place would be really cool. Like, just some insignificant thing somewhere that you, you wouldn't even consider was important. And then, do you know what I mean? Used the bridge instead of the closet, then wrote it off because it didn't work. Exactly. Exactly. That's why the bridge shouldn't be there. Take the bridge away. Mostly problem solved. Eight minutes, 11 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. So eight minutes is what it took to get here. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module, giant steep memory statue, timber hearth memory statue. There you go. So the probe tracking module is the third mask. It's me and the other guy. 14 minutes until end of cycle transmission. 22 minutes total. Uh-huh. That's the, the room we kept viewing. Giving more information about the room. Because I've looked at this room from the opposite side like, what, four or five times? This is going to be pretty lore heavy or story heavy. Today we finish the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterra subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab, I still can hardly believe Remy's hypothesis was true. Finish the Q-Moon? Yep. Did anyone else get a selfie with, with the lovely lady we met up there? Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep where Kasava is working with Evans to craft the orbital probe cannon and where Phlox is sculpting the, sculpting the memory statues. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. The core should have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now and also that I'm no longer needed for meditating, mediating your disagreements. Not to think of the scout launcher on the teleporter pad. It took me a long time to even figure out the scout thing myself. Remember the seed that landed? I didn't, I should have straight away just lobbed, uh, lobbed one through, but it didn't even occur to me, right? But wait, doesn't the launcher also get Yeeted by the sand? I don't know. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me that the cannon is doing well. Avans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avans can. But then if anyone can go to device into exploding, that too is likely Avans. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Evans that Mallow's love will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? 
Flox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut it down the project. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the sun station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. When Nelly ready to activate the Ash Twin project, here is what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order from the, for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station to generate the power of that mag magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. Closest we have ever been, the Astrid Project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for the moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project Flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it, otherwise it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that, what a profoundly horrific fate that would be. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oneo. This one should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Once we've finished the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. For me and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. This is exciting news. I can offer an extra set of eyes. We have read this, I think. We sure have. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber. I think we've read all of these. Maybe. Core is finished. Yeah, I think we have. Oh, don't look up. That's fucking weird. Artificial gravity control.
You're about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. You're being a jerk. You're being a jerk. Alright. Yeet. Why am I hearing the music? We haven't been gone that long. No, it's different music. It's more hopeful. Where's my, uh, there it is. Excuse me. Nope. Motherfucker, don't you dare.
Where's the fucking lights? At the back. Yeah, no, no pressure. It's fine. Shoot the probe from the ship. Yes, I can. This is the fucking scary one right here. dead I gotta do that, man. That's that's immensely scary, that one. I went the other way last time, I think. Makes sense. There's no resurrect. Smooth as butter. Wouldn't that be funny? 
Although, it wouldn't matter. You could just go there straight away. I'm assuming it's possible to get to that section. There's nothing, there's no unlocks, there's no upgrades, right? You don't, the knowledge is all in your brain. So, wouldn't make too much of a difference, really. The only thing you'd have to do is go get the codes. You got the UR Dead credits before going to the museum? Oh, because you hadn't connected your brain yet. <laughs> Got really excited about ghost energy. <laughs> It doesn't give you much time, huh? It doesn't give you much time at all. Yeah, like, I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what the story was about. I didn't know, you know, a lot of that stuff. I've seen screenshots and maybe some clips or whatever. Um, but I had no idea about, like, the story and, and yeah, the, the statue was a good moment for me, actually. Four minutes is a long time to waste. Check the ship's logs to see what we've done. Um, I assume this won't tell us anything that we found out once we got to the other place. Uh, hold on. Why is there new information here? Ashwin project's uncovered, but it shouldn't be. Well, I guess no. Hold on. Right up until I took out the warp core, it would have remembered everything. So we don't need to look at the lore anymore. In theory. Maybe we want to move just, just a bit. Just, just a little. Are you seriously? Bruh. What? Why is the game picking on me now? My favorite moment? Sun Station. I, I knew as soon as I saw that thing orbiting, I tried to get there. I managed to stick to it. It was very difficult to do. Um, but then the gravity fucked me up from the sun. Um, 
But yeah, going there. The, the music in the sun station, by far my favorite so far as well. Yeah, get rid of the bridge. That'll give you all the information you need. Um, other than the sun station, though, I'd say Brittle Hollow. Incredible planet. Um, just the fact that it's breaking apart. We don't see that in games. Changing landscapes and, and whatnot. Um, the water planet was pretty cool, but I'd say, I'd say Brittle Hollow takes it. And, and the twins. The twins is good, too. I like this. Yeah, it was confusing for me. Actually, my first, second trip, first trip out was to the moon at like the moon around um, Timber Hearth and then um, then I tried to go to the Whitehall station I bumped into it I think my ship got destroyed yeah no, nothing there is a view portal there that's not going to tell us anything either is it I have to fucking reread these again for real. I don't think so. I think, like I said, right up until the moment I pulled the core out, everything here should have been memorized. What are you doing way out there? Still got the picture on my phone of the the code.
This place seems so fucking big. I mean, it's like eight different sections in it. Maybe five. I think there's someone out there that stumbled upon, like, first tried it. Legit first tried it. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. The time necessary would be a uh, big problem. Even learning mechanics like distress beacons and shit like that, it's like... Just Ashtwin? That, that, I get. That is possible, sure. But then finding your way back here, knowing where to go? Mm -mm. No way. Wait, this ain't it. I need it all. Incidentally, maybe it is, but what the fuck? There we go. Don't bonk me on the head. There's our ship. The giant rocks weren't there the first time I came through here. And I did alright the first time I came through here. I, I did it shipless. I was scared shipless. Ah. No, 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 you can bonk stuff, stuff can, it's, it's not that, it's the speed of your, th your thrusters, or the, the sound of your thrusters, but you do it real slow, and you feather, feather the stuff, you feather your speed, that's why you'll never see me go, hopefully, above one or two bars. We'll save a state. All or nothing on keyboard. Well, keyboard's digital input, but apparently if you tap it, you can get a very similar... Um, similar effect. Here we go. 
fucking hate this section. I hate it. I'll spend an extra 30 seconds or so here just trying to avoid. I think, I think being this close proximity, if we bonk the wall, yeah, maybe. Well, they recommend controller for a reason, right? I think I'm like right on this dude. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Why would they all be sleeping at the entrance like that? the eggs we found the eggs before i wonder if you can come straight here then um, obviously you wouldn't know where the scout landed but maybe you don't need to, to throw it through the little angry tomato anyway You think it needs to be observed? Okay, and then I think in here they're all gone, right? Pretty sure. Still gonna go relatively slow though. The VR mod is crazy good. I don't have um, PC VR. I've got it on PlayStation 4. I guess they sent me a PS5 little dongle thing too, so... Imagine... Imagine breaking the... The warp core here. Kind of sad, wouldn't it? Oh, we has gravity now. Oh my god, such a big difference. Um, how did I do this? This over this side. Here we go. Pause, get my phone. Oh, this is going to be so much easier actually now. 
Okay, so first one was blip, blip, blip. Next. Next one is blip, 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 blip. And next one has to go from the opposite side. Hello, I. Oh, we just we just gonna walk there, okay? Okay. <laughs> There's a um, it's like a little ledge there. We're definitely op open, right? No. No, that's still glass. Alright. Still glass. Alright. But they've closed the doors. Maybe I stand on the platform. Let me try that. Hey look, there's a moon. Really fucking high gravity. Okay. Have I got a... Have I got a surprise for you? Well, that's lucky. What the fuck? Guess I'm going to the South Pole? Looks like it. Okay, we ain't getting in that way. I 
I gotta climb to the top of the... One of these. It's gonna be one of those fucking portable rock situations. A Harthian is able to reach the eye of the universe. Whoa, hang on. Pagrax, welcome. Perfect timing. Oh, these are other... other supernovas. Cheeky fucker. Oh, 
Oh no, don't like that. Imagine if we still had the 22 minute timer right now. for the next part we'll need you know everyone no rush take your time it might even might not even exist here that's not music I've heard before Do not I am really disoriented right now. Yeah, 
back to the ground. This is the weird shit. Quiet shade. Fuck you. Fuck you. Nope. 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 Why would they do this? Why's it got to be creepy all of a sudden? Getting the band back together. Go find the others, I'll be here. Will ya? Feldspar, why are you so tiny? That's when you found me. See the bongos. That ain't it. What the fuck? Ember twin wasn't enough, huh? Okay. It's cool. Sanogos.
One more. Wait, before I get in there, let me talk to the talk to the peeps. Go find the others, I'll be here. This isn't everyone? No, apparently not. Alright, I gotta go off. Interesting, the little landing feet of my probe. Actually, no, my probe has been eaten by a tree now. Is this the... Oh, it's... She's back! Is it time to find out? Hell yes, it is. The song is new to me, but I am honored to be a part of it. Should I begin? Fuck yeah. Let's go. Oh, we just teleported an anglerfish in here. I learned a lot by the end of everything. next not yet Cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out all right in the end. Hope there are beasties in the next one. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. I think the rules are about to change.
Let's find out together. Is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Yes. very bright. Sincerely, one of the best video games I have ever played. We had, um, on my first night playing, we had Play Outer Wilds account in stream. I don't know if that's official or, or what. They're looking for a producer. I think I'm going to hit them up. Unworldly one, thank you for putting up with me getting snappy from time to time. So they, 
from from what I understand, they it started as a student project. Then they won an IGF award or two, including the Seamus McNally Award, um, like five, six, seven years ago. Um, and then I assume they kickstarted, and then Annapurna picked them up. Didn't look at chat the whole time at the end? N no, I tried to... I Honestly, I, I did get a little bit misty-eyed myself towards there. Six months from release, and then Annapurna got in touch with them and they decided to spend five or five years or so perfecting the game. I'm glad they did. Fourteen point three billion years later. I get the ending. Well, I recognize the planets. Do I plan on hitting up the DLC at some stage? Uh, yeah. How about now? I got a few hours before I need to go to bed. Hmm, maybe one hour. So I guess load that'll just take us back to load previous save. So you got to access it from within. Kazoku, take it easy, man. Oh, I didn't even notice the quantum moon up here. That's dope. Museum? Right on, thanks. Yeah, 
If you haven't done the DLC, I would advise not watching. Because uh, if it's anything like what I just went through, don't spoil it for yourself. Ghosties. New exhibit. Yesterday I said that getting the warp core to the vessel will be impossible in a single loop. Ah, yeah, right, because I thought that, um, I thought you had to wait for the sand to drain, but that would be, yeah, that obviously is not necessary. This poor fish was dead at the end of the last, uh, at the end of the last one, huh? Oh, that's the storage container where, um, the Namayans put their um, lunch boxes. Skips all the reading at the museum. At the eye, it's different. Oh, 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 right, right, right. Okay, I missed some of the text there.
that's obviously on this planet, right? If if that is something, it, it would be. N nope, not muted, Steak Jones. Reflective. Deep Space Satellite, and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. Deep Space Satellite's unusual vertical orbit carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Um, Navarin, there is one option in the DLC menu it says reduce frights so I'm really looking forward to that one
We gotta find the radio tower. Yeah, dude, that's cool. I don't mind. I don't even remember seeing the radio tower. So either I'm fucking blind, possible, or that wasn't here before. two days since the launch of the deep space satellite and I'm about to view the first batch of photos let the record show that on this historic day out of wild ventures has ah they're printing they're printing here they come stars above will you look at that the brittle there's brittle hollow and look that's hollow's lantern and there's giant steep and the quantum moon I'm speechless completely speechless every single astral body in our magnificent solar system looking stunning from every angle in each of these three images and in color no less now this is art i could stare at these photos forever doesn't timber hearth look tiny from hold on what's that that can't be right that's i mean that's not even possible am i interpreting this photo correctly what's even stranger is that it doesn't show up in either of the other photos just this one equipment malfunction i suppose only sensible explanation for it i'll radio gabbro and ask them to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. That looks normal. That looks normal. That one, not so much. Holy fuck. Okay. That's the guy. Good thing you didn't find it early. Ah, right. Okay, there. I do like that there's not a lot out there. Like it's it's a fairly sparse landscape. It makes finding things really, really easy. <laughs> Obviously not too easy.
Despite my checking on them at least a thousand times over, the images are still not ready to print over in the radio tower. Well, it's like they say, our watch satellite never transmits data. That's a little joke for you, Journal. No one ever says that. Wife thinks I should do audio audiobooks? Mm -hmm. It's not the first time I've been told that, actually. Someday I'll have to study the mechanics of how time manages to slow down, slow to a syrupy crawl whenever I'm anticipating something. In the meantime, I've turned to Gabbro, our resident expert in leisurely whiling away the hours, who recommends the following. Gabbro's three foolproof steps for dozing off. Light a nice, cozy campfire and get comfortable. Gaze deeply into the serene warmth. Let time begin to slip away as you allow the flames to lull you into a peaceful slumber. If Gabbro knew I'd taken notes, they'd probably think I'd finally cracked, but I refuse to accept sass from an astronaut who deliberately burns their marshmallows. Toasted. Well. I'm just waiting for the heat death of the universe at the moment, aren't I? Still in the game. I actually like really toasty marshmallows. Like, not blackened to the point of where the, the flavor changes too much, but like you get that really, really rich flavor that I like. Deep Space Radio, that's a completely different frequency now. Let's go check the ship. Whitehall Station. Several photos of the entire, entire solar system hanging on the walls. Hornfels noticed something strange in one of the photos, but concluded equipment malfunction was the only sensible explanation. It was a fucking selfie. What? I've been to the, I've been to the, the, the fucking radio receiver thing, the, the satellite. Do you know what? I, I think they picked a location for the radio tower so that people wouldn't accidentally find it. Because every time I took off, I never saw it. Did I just see another... 
Oh yeah, there's supernovas happening all over the place. Might have to wait for next cycle. I'm sure I've been there. I've even read the log that was on it. Maybe that has changed now. Change of plans. Have I tried going to the probe? Oh yeah, 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 that was day one. Now <laughs> you are the marshmallow. <laughs> I was really tired earlier. I wasn't planning on doing a, a full fucking 12 hours again today, but here we are. Yeah, I, I chased after that as quickly as I could on one of my first ventures out. So it went, for me it was the moon, Whitehall Station that I crashed into real fucking hard, broke my ship. And then I, I think I tried to chase after that thing third. Yeah, I've definitely been out here. 100%. Didn't use my thingy before, though. Yep, 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 yep. Found a little tape recorder thing. exact copy of the one that's in the museum. Yeah, we're here checking deep space satellite program controls. Yeah, 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 we've done this. Being a satellite, it's peaceful out here. The lens, the little satellite. Let's see what the trouble is. No dust, scratches on the lens, and no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out equipment malfunction after all. Keep up the good work out there. I guess that's the rotation position.
All right, cool. Well, something registered. Talk to Gabbro, I guess. Hold up, what's the shadow? This is weird. This is something. This is this is the spot that we saw in the photo. There we go. Yeah, that's the spot that it, that's where I said that one doesn't look right. And then we saw the selfie. the answer to are we alone in the universe right there confirmed out of wilds dlc maybe oh no 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 they're they're just porting in they're bringing extra lunch boxes for the the mayans they're a little bit late but it's okay Unknown language, dope. Did you just press, press right? It just told me to press, turn the light on. Okay, well.
Hell yeah! Alright. Okay. Oh, hold up. Oh, no shit. Okay. Uh-huh. That's fucking dope. We've got rafts that are steered, I guess, by light. Light seems to be primary function here. This is gorgeous. Oh, massive shipment of lunch boxes. Yeah, everything's controlled by light, I think. It's one of those machines called? It's one of those. The, uh... Sp not Spirograph. A spinny spinny? No, 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 there's a name for it. one of those um, communications sticks remove steel slide slide reel okay already holding a slide reel that I am attorney clicky ah yeah yeah, yeah. there you go look at that shit Well, we saw it for a second. Yeah, what's the what's the you know the red thing that you put the little wheel in and you pull the crank? Ah, uh, don't don't give me any spoilers, guys. I'm I'll, I'm just wandering around for now. I'm not going to do too much puzzle solving right now. 
A spin spinny spinny, that's its name for real? Okay, so we can shine a light inside. the universe a little bit too fucking bright in here so that's some kind of uh, telescope by the river absorbing some kind of green shit fuck you Oh yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. This is me with a lunchbox full of food. This is me without a lunchbox full of food. Look to the sky. Okay, cool. Nope, that's who we're dealing with, huh? Okay. Get the, uh, other wheel basically a horror game yeah yeah pretty much a spinny spinny that's not its fucking name stop Stereoscope. Thank you, X-rays. Thank you. Yep. Well, I hate it already. What the fuck? Water's draining and going it should equalize no Let's find out it's the ultimate ultimate surf machine it did. Alright, so it equalized. So there's a dam we have to get to at some point. Um, and we have to do a lot before the water breaks, I'm sure.
one, two. He's got light. He's got lights. There's lights in the picture. So there's three in this one, three in that one, or or one, to, depending on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, what the fuck is this? How do you say hell no in whatever language these guys speak? Alright. That looks like a bell. Yeah, maybe some, yep, that's some kind of bell. Musical alarm. Ding bong. See if we can get a better look. Oh, were they taking photos? Using a spinny spinny? love the poses some look like they were in pain some look like they were hit by something unexpected whatever it was came out of there it's the purple shit the fuck the stuff they found at the at the at the you know where and that was by a river but the grass was green, which... Well... Actually, hold on a second. Do we have seasons here? No fucking way. Gotta check the tower, that's cool. Our, our 22 minute cycle still counts. I'm gonna have to get used to steering those, that's weird. Must be what broke, huh? Maybe? I don't think I can make it across there. Could make it up, though.
Let's see if this is stronger than the current. Oh, watch out for the other one. It is not. Nah, no way. Ow! Alright. Well, we're going. We're going this way now. 22 minutes still applies. Fuck me. Get up there. I said get up there. He's very strong. There it is. Here? Fuck. I know about the launch codes. Oh. I was going to tell you about using the ship log to set destination markers for locations you've visited before. It's a brilliant feature, if I do say so myself. Dead useful in the risk it poses of shorting out the fuel regulator and causing the ship to explode is so minimal. That only Gosan would worry about it. What about locations I haven't visited before? Say that again, please. That sounds so good when it's not sarcastic. Anyway, I've got a fire to enjoy. You've got the launch codes to grab wild with the marking feature while you're out there just trying to follow it so directly you fly into the sun maybe not fast travel but easy destination we'll see what the computer on the uh, on the ship says Stranger. God damn, this is gonna take forever. Mark location on HUD. Kinda sucks how we have to, um, I, that's how I take off all the time. Kinda sucks how we have to 
like we can't just restart in there you know what i mean like there's several minutes spent getting there but it's it's good integration i think Let's get a look at the outside, huh? Just want to bang my ship around a bit more. So it's an orbiting station. We can see the outside in its own black hole kind of dealio. And I just flew away out of it. Okay. No, you, you know what I mean. It'd just be nice to sort of restart in there. I th Again, I'm thinking like a regular game developer would, right? Most DLC is either extended quests and shit. I don't know where I'm going here. Um, completely separate storylines and, and all the rest. Um additional content it, it, there's a ton of different ways they can do it so this is really quite unique break the game's own logic well that's that's just the thing that's the difference between this developer and and others we've seen right Beached, bro. Oh, they have ghosts here? I shouldn't be going that way. Yep. There still has to be a way to deal with ghost matter. I don't know that yet. 